This time we're going to talk a little bit about um, how to build a Nix packages repository. So what I'm going to try to work up to here is digging into the source for Nix packages, the, the global package repository for Nix, and trying to understand um, how it might be built. Probably in the next video we'll get around to actually digging into Nix packages, but I want to do some of the preliminary work here of showing you kind of how this, this could work. So you've seen before, in the last video, we did um, load Nix packages. And we got 11,562 variables. And one of those, for example, was rip grab, And that's uh, derivation. So really what um, Nix packages is, is a big attribute set with names being the, the name of the package and the values are derivations. So um, if we look, or if we write our own uh, little next expression here, I can, I can demonstrate that. I will keep with tradition now and call it whatever.next. And oh, I had code in here. And we'll make a, an empty attribute set. And we're just going to say, well, let's just say rip grip, <laughs> fake rip grip equals, and now here we would run uh, something to build a derivation. So I'm not going to remember all the arguments I have to pass here right away, but there's a function called derivation that takes probably a name. Pretty sure it takes a builder, say bin bash. I think it likely, it likely takes arguments, but let's just see. It'll fail and tell us what's wrong. So we're going to run, I'll split my terminal here, and we're going to run uh, nix eval. Let's run nix repl. And I'm going to run load whatever.nix. We got one variable, and it was fake rip prep. So I want system, and I happen to know that's something like Apple x86-64 Darwin, maybe. Now I'll load it again, and now we get a derivation. So this won't build or do anything useful. It just minimally satisfies what this, this function expects in order to have the right side effect. But um, this is this is really like the basic template of how Nix packages is structured. This derivation function is special. It's the only thing in all of the Nix language that actually has any side effect at all. Um, everything else you do in the Nix language really just kind of pushes objects around within its little like abstract world. Derivation is the one case where something actually happens. Um, it it uh, writes a file out into the Nix store containing the build instructions. So if I look at this file, uh, I can do Nix show derivation. You can also just cat the. I can. I'll show you. You can also cat the file, but it looks ugly. Um, but if we show derivation, we'll see we've got this file. It defines an output. It has no inputs just because normally you'd have inputs, but I, this is garbage data that we've passed to it. It has a builder, some environment, fine. Okay, so um, Nix packages is really this scaled up. When we had 11,000 things loaded in Nix packages, all of these are basically the same as this some result of a call to the function derivation, typically wrapped in several levels of abstraction to make it better, um, assigned to a name. And rip grep you'll see is exactly that. So rip grep is a derivation, just like our fake rip grep. And if I do, well, let's cat that, you'll see there's a lot more going on here because it's building real software. But if I do nix show derivation, and I'm going to pipe it to jq just because it's JSON and I'd like it highlighted. You'll see a whole bunch of stuff going on here, but notably there's like 
input derivations. This means it depends on these. In order to build that derivation, these have to be done first. So for example, it depends on, oh, let's see, Cargo. It's a Rust project, so Cargo is the, the build tool for Rust. Um, none of this really should matter to you too much, but this is just to demonstrate. Derivations uh, exist, and the derivation function, when it's evaluated, writes this stuff out into the Nix store. A kind of subtle thing about Nix that you, you won't really have realized unless you've spent some time with it is just having this, this attribute in this uh, attribute set here doesn't mean derivation is automatically evaluated. It's really only when you actually ask for the fake ripgrep name that that forces the evaluation of that derivation function. So Nix is a, a lazy evaluated language meaning that you can have this thing where you just create this hash with 11,000 different package definitions in it, and it's only when you pull out the attribute that you're interested in that it actually evaluates those derivations and writes out the build instructions. And then a different part of the Nix tooling reads those build instructions, does the build, and writes the result into the Nix store. So, um, yeah. That's just a whole bunch of different pieces of information that I hope will contextualize the next video well, where we dig into Nix packages and, and try to demystify what actually that whole thing is. So when you when you run Nix and IA Nix packages, wow, I can't type Nix packages dot ripgrep. Hopefully that'll be a little demystified after the next video, and and maybe you can piece together. Uh, quite a lot of, of the mechanics of that already. So uh, yeah, look forward to next time, I suppose, or whatever. <laughs>